What up YouTube, it's IKG, formerly known as No Chains, and I am back for another commentary. And this is another episode, or episode one, of my UCLA Bruins Dynasty here in NCAA Football 14. And I forgot to mention that this will be the last NCAA. And, you know, that adds some longevity to this series. So I might actually extend it for a few more years because this is the last one. I mean, I don't have up until next year. You know, like, that's usually the case. Like, I have until the next video game, you know, comes out to finish this series. But that's not the case because this is the final one. They may come out with something else, I heard. Uh, but I think the series is pretty much done due to, like, um, player likeness lawsuits and stuff like that. But... And I did it again. I usually <laughs> end up talking over the beginning of the video and not telling you guys what's going on. But that was my recruiting board just for my fullbacks and my D tackles. As you guys know, if you watch episode zero, fullback and D tackle are our only team needs right now. And of course, I'm going to be showing you guys the full recruiting board after this episode. I just wanted to get this gameplay out, really. I, that's the focus of this episode. I'm going to be showing you guys recruiting. Don't worry. Uh, in previous NCAA series, I had trouble showing recruiting because it's just totally boring to just watch. So, that being said, if you don't want to see recruiting, just go ahead and leave a comment and say, I'll just see your point distributions for each week instead of watching me add the points to everybody. So, I mean, I think that'll be the better thing to do. But let's get into this gameplay. UCLA is coming in under new coaching and leadership of Walt McGee, fictional coach, by the way. And they are coming in at rank 20 versus the Nevada Wolfpack. And we should definitely handle these guys pretty easily even though we are not that high in the top 25 i mean we're only number 20 but i think we definitely have a more talented roster than this team but you never want to go into a game especially the first game of the season you have to knock that rust off and then you have a brand new coach and new philosophies new schemes so you never know how that's going to work out but you see brett hunley gets a 39 yard pass to fuller right there and i still have to learn this roster outside of the main two players i told you guys about in episode zero as you guys see bell get a reception get us down to the 15 yard line so this offense is on the move and hunley is trying a read option out to the left side he will get a gain of nine right there so we are inside the red zone right now and hunley will force this pass to Shaq Evans and he will be picked off by the cornerback however that will start them at the one yard line and Kendricks will penetrate but I run right past the guy and you guys know I'm not that good at user tackling as you guys see this was very close to becoming a two-point lead for the UCLA Bruins as Anthony Wallace was able to tackle him in the backfield and they're gonna try a read option and nobody is there so their quarterback Cody Fajardo Please forgive me if I am butchering his name right now. I'm just going to sound it out like that. It's Fajardo to me right now. Correct me in the comments below. And before I get into commentating this video any further, as you guys see, the Wolfpack is driving right now as they get another first down to Don Jackson. Uh, before I get into this commentary a little bit more, I just want to ask you guys to leave a like. And I just want to say thank you for the likes that the first video got. I believe that's at 60 likes right now. And I really thought that would only get like 25 to 30 likes, you know. And I just really want to say thank you. I wouldn't have even got that many likes on my original channel, you know, with 6,000 subs. So I just really want to say thank you to you guys for liking that one. And I hope you guys can stay consistent with the support as um, we end up getting the ball back and they had to punt. But I'm going to get back into commentating right now. And uh, we're going to hit Lucian again for a gain of 24, getting us into Nevada Wolfpack territory. Hunley is forced out of the pocket and he will be tackled by his shoelace and that will cause a punt by the Bruins so the Bruins right now looking like they're struggling to get anything going here in the first quarter they have not scored they've been inside the red zone once they started off a great job but we had a very bad mistake by Hunley right there he was trying to force it in to his star receiver and it turned out in an intercession as you guys see Cody Vajardo will be sacked by Cassius Marsh our defensive left end and on third down 12, they're going to try a screen. And Kendricks is right there to end that before it gets started. And the Bruins are back on the ball. Hopefully, they can score on their third drive of the day. And we're going to hit Lucian over the middle again. Devin Lucian, he is playing great right now. And then we're going to hit Shaq Evans on the left side of the field, getting us to about the 32-yard line. And on second down and five, Hunley's back to pass. Sort of a good pocket. He's going to throw in a run to 
Payton, and he will get down to the 10-yard line. Second down to 18 after we take a hefty loss on first down. Huntley will take another loss as he is sacked for a loss of six yards by Jack Reynoso. I believe that's how you say it. And on third down and 24, he has a nice pocket. He's going to hit Lucien, and Lucien gets down to the three-yard lines, it seems. And we're going to go for it on fourth and two. We have to get something going. Huntley has no pocket at all he sees um Shaq Evans in the side of the end zone at the last second but he would not be able to get it off so we turn it over on downs and right after that they're gonna hit Bradley and it's a foot race right now but he will be brought down via shoelace and on third down and goal Fajardo is going airborne comes down breaks a tackle and walks into the end zone that is crazy he hurtled over the failed block by his lineman and then Broke a tackle and then got into the end zone. But we have a quarterback of our own, and that is Brett Hundley. And he will get into the end zone via read option. And that is a long 61-yard touchdown scamper for our quarterback, Brett Hundley. And he does it with his legs. And he's fell with his arms so far, to be honest, in this game. He threw an interception. If he throws a touchdown there, it's a completely different ball game. And we probably will have a 14-7 lead instead of a... 7-7 seven to seven tie game and our defense is playing well pretty much saving our butts right now as they're gonna miss a field goal so the score stays tied at seven i will give brett hunley our quarterback a chance to take the lead here before the third quarter starts and we're gonna throw a risky pass to fuller and he will not be able to get out of bounds so we're gonna run the hurry up Nothing doing on the first two downs. And on third down and 10, Hunley will get a drop pass by James. So we'll be forced to punt the ball. But it would be too late for them to even try anything. They didn't have any time left. So this will kick off the second half as Fajardo and his offense gets the ball back for the first drive of the second half. And Fajardo will be stopped this time for only a three-yard gain. And on third down and four, he's back to pass for once. And then he throws and he gets his pass almost jumped by our cornerback if he catches down when he walks into the end zone for a touchdown and when brett hunley off of the play action is going to hit devin lucian once again for a gain of 14s and a new set of downs and they have just been a lethal connection right there and they're going to hook up once again for another first down and a gain of 13 hunley on the read option gets a blocker in front of him and he will take advantage of the daylight all the way up to around the 32 yard line and on first and 10 we're going to try a play action and we're going to hit fuller and he gets us down inside the 10 yard line Devin Fuller has been playing great and then we're finally going to go to our best receiver Shaq Evans for his third reception 46 yards and his first touchdown on the season he has pretty much been covered very effectively this game so far and that's getting a lot of the defense's attention as Cody Fajardo is going to run right up the gut for a gain of about 15 yards right there and Don Jackson finally getting going it's going to bob and weave his way all the way to about the 12 yard line right there so they get a big play as they're trying to respond to our scoring drive but on second down they will be stopped for a loss of two and on third down and two Fajardo in the shotgun formation gonna try that ever so effective read option for him and this time he will be stopped and they will settle for a field goal interesting that they did not try to go for a six points right there as Shaq Evans is trying to get himself involved he is so effective on those screen passes as you guys see that he scored on one and right there he picks up a great amount of yardage as we're gonna hit our tight end for the first time this game and then we're gonna go deep to Fuller and Fuller will drop the ball. And that has been a common scene for our receivers outside of the top three as Shaq Evans comes open on a post route for a gain of 21. Nothing doing on the first two downs. So then we're going to throw a comeback to Shaq Evans and he will catch his second touchdown of the day. So this offense is two for two in the second half and they're playing with a lot of urgency finally after only scoring one touchdown in the first half entirely. And Cassius Marsh could have walked into the end zone had he caught that. He read the screen uh, plays perfectly as Brett Hundley would almost turn the ball over. Luckily, Jordan James was there to recover it. And Hundley rolling out to the right side trying to find somebody open. He's just going to take this on himself for a very nice gain. And can we keep the streak going? Second down and five. Hundley will walk into the end zone. So this offense has caught fire. And I'm not talking about the Hunger Games, by the way. That was very, very corny. Please forgive me for that. But Walt McGee has to be happy about how his second half adjustments, or his halftime adjustments, rather, have been paying off in this game. They're three for three, 21 points, and they're starting to run away with this one. But Nevada is saying we're not done yet. They're driving right now. And there's 
Cody Fajardo once again, and it's seeming like he's going to break a college rushing record for a quarterback. As he is just doing the most. He doesn't even have to do all that to walk into the end zone, and he gets a three-yard touchdown run, and they are only down by 10 points now. And then we're going to hit Devin Lucian once again, and that will get us a new set of downs. Hunley back to pass. Going to hit Bell on the right side of the field. That's Darius Bell for a gain of 16. And on second down and 10, Huntley from the shotgun formation. Going to hit Shaq Evans on that screen pass, and it looks like he fell into the end zone. But they're calling it down at the one yard line and he will still get the touchdown as we try to play action That is the same play that Brett Huntley was picked off on in the first drive of the game But this time it goes for a touchdown and there's Don Jackson trying to fight his way to the first down marker He will not get there, but they will go for it on fourth down for Jardo is gonna find Wimberly And he will break a tackle and he will get down all the way to the 10 yard line actually inside the 10 So they have a minute left and they're only down by 17 points right now for Jardo is going to throw this pass and Richardson will catch the ball for a gain of 15 they're going to give for Jardo another rushing touchdown on the day and they cut their deficit from 17 to 10 the game is on the line with this onside kick and we will recover it and they still have three timeouts, so we have to run the ball a little bit. And we're going to try a read option this time to Brett Hundley. And he will try to get some style points for this win so that we can move up in the BCS rankings. And we increase our lead right back to 17. That was a very nice touchdown. Although, I do admit, I didn't have to die for it. I mean, he didn't have to put that much effort towards that touchdown. But what I had in mind, I'm not sure if the game has this or if they base it off of just wins, style points, how much you win by, you know, uh, will determine how much you move up in the polls as you guys see the Bruins jump to number 17 in the AP polls following the win versus Nevada and This game honestly was close all the way up until the end I don't think that it should have been as close throughout the first half our offense was really really cold We couldn't get anything going the first mistake by Brad Hundley pretty much set the tone for the entire first half But Walt McGee first year college coach was able to go in at halftime make some adjustments and both sides of the ball were playing a lot more effectively in the second half as you guys get a look at the day that Brett Hundley had 26 for 37 three touchdowns that one interception 70 percent completion and I will take that any day from our quarterback except that one interception and it's just bothering me yeah but it was my fault though but we don't really run the ball but Brett Hundley was able to lead us with 120 rushing yards and three touchdowns so three touchdowns with his arm three touchdowns with his legs and Shaq Evans was able to catch three touchdowns and he had the most yards with 10 receptions and right behind him in receiving yards total is Devin Lucian who was very very effective on third down and a lot of great catches by the way but we end up getting a much expected win versus Nevada and we'll have to see how we fare against Nebraska next week they are ranked in the top 25 as well I didn't check how they were ranked after week one but that should be a good game I hope you guys enjoyed it leave a lot of likes on this video hopefully it gets to at least 50 you guys got episode 0 to 60 so I'm hoping I can get at least 50 I really appreciate all the support from you guys and I'll see you guys in the next week